Hi, this is Michael Davis of Speaking CPR with your daily dose of public speaking wisdom. Last night during a group coaching call, uh, our team was working with one of our longtime members, a very funny man named Rich. Uh, Rich always has great humor in his presentations. In this particular speech, though, we realized that Rich was using humor to create a connection with the audience when the real connection was in his personal story. One of the biggest problems I see in speaking today is the overemphasis of inserting humor into stories and talks. There's no doubt that humor is a great connector. We all love to laugh, but humor at the expense of a more meaningful or deeper message can mean that your, your, your talk has no lasting impact. And I know other speakers who are very concerned about their, what I call, humor count. How many laughs am I getting for every minute of speaking time? I'm not saying that's wrong, but I think it misses the mark. In Rich's case, after talking to him for about 20 minutes, we were able to uncover a much deeper message in his talk that he missed the, the, the last time he gave it. Nothing wrong with that. That's the, whole, that's the beauty of speaking. You never give a final version. You keep working on it and testing it. And it was a very good speech to begin with. We wanted to help him create a much deeper connection. So this is the phrase that came out of that meeting with Rich. Never sacrifice heart for humor. Please don't take away from this that I'm suggesting you don't use humor. In fact, it's just the opposite. We need humor, especially in serious talks. Humor can be an excellent tool to set up your most impactful points. My point is don't get so focused on that that we're looking for laughs for laughs sake. The best laughter and humor comes out of stories, usually in dialogue. Those moments should set up your points of wisdom. As you craft your next presentation, look for opportunities for humor, but more importantly, look for those places where you'll have your points of wisdom and use humor to support that, actually to set it up, to maybe even create tension so that your wisdom will stick with your audiences and last long beyond your time on stage. We'll talk with you next time.